Hi, my name is Caitlin Morgan and this is my very first vlog or video blog. Today what I wanted to talk about is the educational potential of vlogging in the classroom. Right now, all of my students are actively blogging. At the start of class, I give them a prompt and then I give them about 10 to 15 minutes to respond to the prompt. Then afterwards, once they have submitted it and published it, then we have a discussion about the prompt. I really like blogging and I've been doing it for such a long time because it gives the students the opportunity to reflect and respond to questions that either pertain to what we're talking about in class or to things that are happening in their lives or in the world around them. I really like it also because it allows students to write in a way they may not be able to in their everyday lives and it's not as intimidating as simply writing an essay. I found that the more students blog and the more they write every day, they progressively start to write more and more and become more comfortable when it comes to writing. Now, when it comes to vlogging, I think it really has the potential to level up vlogging itself. What I really like about it is that it has a media component tied into it. So the students are still writing and reflecting and responding to a prompt, but they're taking it to the next professional level by creating a video that has to go with it. I think this is really important because it takes into more skills than just reading and writing and responding. It also has students thinking creatively, whether it comes to lighting, dress, sound, all of that stuff that goes into media. It also adds in just the general professional element that they have to think about. It's one thing to write a response. It's another thing for people to actually see you actively talking about it. So I think that really challenges students to be more professional in the way that they hold themselves and the ways that they communicate. I also think that by adding in captions, it also encourages students to still have the writing component. Of course, you know, in a vlog, you don't want students just completely reading off of the screen, but at the same time, you do want a writing component in there. So by having them do the closed captioning, whether they're editing or writing in their own, it still has that writing component. The one thing I'm hesitant when it comes to vlogging is I feel like you can't do it as frequently as I do with vlogging. Like I said, my students vlog every single day and I really like it as, you know, a bell ringer or, you know, an opening to the lesson that we're doing that day. But with vlogging, I feel like there's much more entailed with it and it's not so easy to do within class. But I still think it really could be powerful in the classroom. It just can't be done as frequently. Like I said, it takes more work. There's way more that's involved with it. So I think that would kind of alter the way that my class is working. Um, you could also add in where students are able to maybe do like a vlogging series where they pick their own topic and, you know, create maybe not necessarily daily, but weekly videos about whatever topic it is that they're talking about, and then they can add it to their professional site and then potentially add it to their resume in the future. I really believe that vlogging does have some educational potential in the classroom. Like I said, it would be very difficult to have 30 kids vlogging all at once and all recording and all trying to talk over each other. But I do think this would be a good after class assignment for students to be working on that allows them to take their blogging to the next level. As I'm talking about this, a cool idea might actually to be have students pick one of the blogs from that week and create a vlog about it. That could potentially be very cool. Either way, I really like the potentials that vlogging has for the classroom and most of all, the potential it has to help my students grow even more as professionals. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my very first vlog. Uh, thank you.